So to the clay of Casablanca and the Grand Prix Hassan II, an ATP World Tour 250 tournament in Morocco, proudly flying the flag for tennis in Africa. We are very proud to represent Morocco, to represent Casablanca, to represent Africa, because we are on the only tournament in, in, in the continent. So we have a lot of responsibilities and we feel very proud to, to, to manage this tournament. It's the biggest tournament in Africa. It's a special tournament which brings the town to life. It's very important for the area, it's for, uh, for the players, it's very good too. You know, they have uh, the only tournaments here, so most of them they try to play here. We are lucky we have this tournament in Casablanca, then we have to prepare Moroccan player to play this tournament, to make it new player, to win it. A very important event for, for Morocco and of course for whole Africa. Making the most of his time in Africa, 2012 doubles champion in Casablanca, Dustin Brown, visiting the famous Hassan II Mosque before moving on to taste some traditional Moroccan tea. So it's actually pretty nice to actually go there and uh, take a look at it live and it was nice to see. I've uh, heard a lot about the tea already, I think one of the guys earlier on this week already said something about the tea so it's nice to actually try it. Brown wasn't the only player enjoying his time off court. Rohan Bapana, amongst others, at the welcome cocktail party, happy to get on stage alongside the local entertainment. Yeah, it's always nice, uh, you know, when you come to a country, when they, they have some traditional stuff, uh, like, yeah, like yeah, how they had the traditional dancing and some belly dancing, uh, uh, you know, going on. It's nice to be part of it and, uh, you know, you get to see a lot of culture. And yeah, I was getting into the groove, I think, uh, you know. Uh, another 10 more minutes, I would have probably got in the, got in the rhythm completely. <laughs> Back on court, and those who found their rhythm in Casablanca in recent years have tended to come from one country in particular. Five of the last six champions in Morocco being Spanish. Maybe because of the, the weather, because of the, uh, the clay, of course. Uh, the, the weather is re really similar and, uh, you know, I, maybe because of the, the, the atmosphere here is pretty similar than in Spain, so that's why maybe we are feeling good here. The Spaniards adapt a little better to clay. It's what we've grown up on. It's only one hour away, so Barcelona and all these big, uh, big uh, centers of tennis where all all players practice actually uh, is so close from from Morocco. So that's why that's why they come in uh, so many in, in Casablanca. I think the the time of the tournament, no, the the is scheduled in the first week of the clay court and probably Spanish players know a little bit, it's easier for them to, to get to know the clay court uh, kind of tennis. Could anyone stop the Spanish reign in Casablanca? The stage was set for this year's Grand Prix Hassan II. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, all the magic of Monte Carlo. And local resident Milos Raonic takes us on an exclusive tour of the glamorous principality. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.